other exactly. people is like wow you do even have haters una kwa na haters una kwa na haters so mkuja ku hate nini So, babe, how do you deal with haters trolls? Because you know that those people wanna sing at Papa Kenya. Unja Kenya. I'm I'm seeing Burundi she's over here looking good. She just got her life and she got their ways to simulate with Kenya please. We all have ways. It's just that someone hidden underneath a bit more fat. Exactly. <laughs> So how do you deal with those people who just come up to your DMs and who broke mm. and just have something to say and it's really it's just like why why first of all I saw a tweet the other day saying actually why do we act as if someone opening a whole account just so that they can come to your page to insult you is not a form of mental illness because it is it is it oh is a form gosh. of mental illness I'm like yani you actually went to open this account because I blocked your new main one and you went to open this one so that you can come to my page to tell me I'm ugly I go fashion You know, let me tell you something. When I started out as a content creator, I used to, it used to, I used to take it very harsh. Yeah. Like when somebody would say something, come to my page and tell me, oh my god, you're so fat, or come and tell me, oh, you know, your yeah, your content is so bad. People that. just come and say anything. That's I mean, so really, mm-hmm. really, just dumb things. And I, I used to take it like I would be like, why does this person ask people please us? And just like, but like, why, 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 why don't I'm you such like a good person? Exactly. But I'm really, if you just took time to get to know me, you see. That actually, I'm just so nice. So awesome. I'm like, you know, we talk to anyone and I'm whatever. I used to take so like it would really bug me. Mm. There are some times where even it would find me like I'm on my period and I see a bad comment. Oh yeah, I'll just cry. My husband would just be like, no, babe, you know they're just saying that. But I'm like, but I don't understand. I was just trying to help, and the video was so nice. Oh, should I have shot it like this? Should I not have said this? But over time, I've come to realize that. There are people out there who hate you just because you exist as a person, yeah. not because of anything you've said, not because of whatever. Just you. They just see you. Maybe they just don't like your face. Mm. Maybe it's your nose. They see your nose and it's upsetting to them. Or it's your lips. Or it's the way you do makeup. They find it ugly. Whatever. Yeah. There are people who, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, how you say it, they will just hate you yeah. for just being you, for just existing. And the, as soon as I realized that, that when someone comes to my page to hate on me. It's more about them than it is about me. It is. Is when I just realize actually there's nothing that you can do mm-hmm. to whatever. Because I'm like even me, there sometimes I'll go on someone's page and I don't like their content, but I won't leave them a hate but comment. You, exactly. See, I just exit and I'll yeah. be like, oh, okay, that content is not for me. Mm-hmm. That's it. And I'll just move. And I'm just like, for someone to actually come and start verbalizing and start saying whatever, someone someone can even send you a whole email, a whole email. I remember the time someone sent me a whole email and I was What? like. I was you so got confused. Time. I was like, yeah, you got time. It was a man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so you're just spoiling these young girls of today and see what this post that you're putting. And you know, even you, you, you know, you're telling me about how chubby girls should not be wearing lingerie and should not be wearing. So I'm like, oh, okay. So only thin girls should should wear underwear. That is such a double standard. Should underwear. Ah, I see. I understand. And then I realized it's just like people are going through their own things. Mm. If you as a person who is plus size, you yourself, you can't accept yourself and love yourself as you are. Yeah. But you see me being so confident and loving myself. Of course, you're going to be mad. Yeah, of course, you're like, going to be angry. How dare, be, you? how dare you just how be dare happy? You? How dare you just be... Me, I'm in a failing marriage. How dare you just be happy with your husband? You're telling us you're so happy every you day. You know, it's just like, why are you showing off? But you see, I'm only seeing it through the lens of the struggles that I am going through. Yeah. You see, and as soon as I realize that, me these days, by the way, it does not affect me. It comes like this inner good agenda. It's like water. It's just flowing. It goes like this. As soon as I see, I, a message starts with like, by the way, not to not to offend you. Blocked. <laughs> this is not coming from a bad place. Blocked. blocked. Um, I just wanted to say, blocked. Anything which is just like mildly, it's like you're not going to, this is my page. It's like you're coming to my house to insult me in my in house. My house. Can't, I can't. This is my space. I can choose who I want here. So I may just block people and I keep it moving, by the way. Yeah. And you realize when you are content creators that sometimes it can get so hard to 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 focus on the positive because the negatives can be so loud and sometimes the positives are like 99 and then you yeah. get that one negative exactly and you're only focusing there and you know the positives they're those silent followers like oh i love you but i'm a silent follower they they don't say anything yeah, or two. yeah. the negatives are the ones who will always have something to say the ones who will always be like oh you're lazy you've not laid down sure oh, wow surely look, you know your top kunaiki too in a in a nini like You're like out of this whole video. The only thing you saw is that my top will go neo kakitu. That's the only thing that you, you know. It's like so you have to remind yourself that 99% love you. Mm. That 1% is they are irrelevant and don't focus on them. Don't give them any airtime. Don't allow them to breathe. Keep your space as positive as possible and just like 
Don't allow them to breathe. Oh, don't allow them to breathe. You breathe here. You're not breathing my air. Go and breathe the air out there. Not here. Not here. I love that. Mm. But Rudy, it also takes um I'm I'm a mature person for me. Like the way you said, sometimes you go to pages and you don't like their content, mm. and that's okay. I don't even never write at you now. Go and start writing. What what is that dress? I don't like that dress. Kwali, go to someone message me and tell me I don't like that G word. Ah, that color doesn't suit you. G word. That I'm like so now what do you mean? So so need to. It's mine. It's mine. How has it affected? you bad how's it affected you what's the problem what's and, the issue and you know I, i i love the fact that you're so vocal about especially like um your your weight and your body and mm. body positivity because especially like during this time because i was even <laughs> we were even watching a video of how i used to be skinny and then yeah. now i'll put on the phone i'm sure everybody's just like hey oh, what do you mean yeah. not on my page on my sister's page on my anywhere they can anywhere at the end you look so good busy. but yeah Please imagine mm. unless me chakula chakula yako I'm not in your house I, I have asked you to buy me new pants because I can't fit in my pants what's the issue and it's not your it's not, it's none of your business to be honest But I feel like people mm, poke their heads they want, in things yeah. that it's i think people also are seeking relevance you want me to now come and acknowledge that okay yeah actually me when i was looking in the mirror i didn't realize that put on weight but now that you told me on instagram now i realize i'm like oh, no, thank you so much you. i did not I know i didn't realize i was fat no you told me ah okay i knew that was what the issue was thank you for letting me know i was, I was wondering what it was people people um some people just think that it's not you don't know like mm. like when i wake up i didn't realize that you did not exactly or that you have acne or that you know i mean whatever or that my nail has broken i didn't realize but mother you told me thank you thank so much thank you so much if you are planning to be a content creator let me tell you you need some thick skin <laughs> you need some thick skin out here because yeah, yeah, otherwise yeah. you'll be clapping back at every tom dick and one boy who did, did are you used to do that oh, used to even me used to do that hey, hey. i've been I've been so much time oh, dear you. hey i've been with my husband is like what are you doing i'm like just i'm just okay, okay, i'm just sending a message a real message real quick yeah <laughs> I would spend so much time doing that. Then I realized, why am I allowing them to take my peace, my energy. my joy, my oh energy? My why am I allowing them to do that? I'm like, now they just don't exist to me. They just don't exist. I love that. Mm. Hey guys, if you find yourself that the first thing that you want to do when you go to someone's page is comment something mean, just mm. you you need help. And yeah. I'm not even saying that like you really do need help, like internally. Oh yeah, bro. You need mm. a lot of help because yeah. I hate you and. Uh, we, people are just living their lives and not everything enjoying. that you think has to be said imagine you can just think it and move on and move on because yeah. 99% of the time the person knows they know me they never tell that go to a page and just be like oh that dress doesn't suit her body but you will never see me right there i don't think this dress suits your body i'm just like she is she happy there with her dress she is you how are you coming in now there with the dress let your thought be your thought and move on that's it yeah that's I it i love that mm. i love that hey You really need tough skin in this Girl, industry. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Honestly, actually, I've never thought about how difficult it must be for like if you come from being small yeah. to putting on weight. You see me? I've just been basically uh, my say I'm plus size. I'm plus size. Thick. I've been. I've been. You thick. Been I've been thick. But I guess now maybe for you people are coming and just being like it's like it's a difference. So they're um, like they're coming with all their opinions. That have you tried this? Have you tried fasting? Have you tried? <laughs> yeah, I'm like you shut shut up. <laughs> and, and I'll eat my cookie. <laughs> And I'll eat my cookie. <laughs> and you tell me anything. It's it's such a it's such a um I would say it's such a different space because mm. in my we've been talking about it in my first uh, pregnancy I didn't gain weight. In fact, mm. slim. Mm. So now in this one, I guys I've really been wanting to gain some weight. Like mm. and you are happy. Out. And I'm so, so happy. You're happy. Like, you look so happy. Oh, 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 you look so happy. When I walked into the first thing I saw, I'm like boom, <laughs> wow, wow. Mm. But yeah, like, and then so for me, for me it's like the opposite, because there's some people. Let's say somebody who who is dealing with acne, mm. they know mm. you don't have to point it out to them, and mo- most of the time it's an insecurity for them. Exactly. It's something that they're constantly reminded of. So imagine yeah. you coming to say that. So now for me, it's the opposite. Mm. I wanted to gain weight. I've been trying. I've been mm-hmm. trying. So now the weight came, baby. Oh my gosh. Eh una kapoa but aki usi usi ume add like eh usi 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 yache hiyo weight ikae hapo sana itakuwa ngumu ku lose. I'm like What if I like this me? What if you know they don't care that you like that you they just like they assume that you don't care that you don't care exactly. 
me, I just ignore, me, just ignore yeah. it and just like move on because people can really have you just like question. That's what and you have to be. You have to have a certain kind of confidence by the way to be a contact creator. Guys, you, have you, to should, have a certain you should meet Murugi in person. Yes. I was like, I was telling her, this confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get this audacity? for that city? I want, I want to buy it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's, it's such a beautiful thing to see mm-hmm. that you live your life unapologetically you. Regardless of whatever opinions people have, yeah, you need to. That's, you just you have to. For me, I'm always like, whatever it is that I'm modeling for my daughters, I that's I want it to be something that I would be proud for them to be. Mm. So whenever I'm, I'm about to be like, oh, I'm letting this person get to me, and I'm like, is that what I would want my daughters to see? Is yeah. that what I would want them to experience? Is that what I I don't want them to allow haters and trolls to d- dictate their mood and you know how happy they are. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Wow. I'm not gonna do that. Mm. It's beautiful to see. Mm-hmm. So what the biggest check that Murugi has ever gotten? To inspire somebody. Let me let me use it like single that. Single check. To inspire somebody out there. I've gotten a, a million bob check. Wow. From one campaign. It included like a billboard. It included some um social media work. Bloggers now rushing to see Yeah, bloggers. Are you know. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I, 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 know, I feel like there are months where I make as much as even a million in a month. Yeah. Then there are months where maybe you can make 200k, 300k, yeah. depending on. Because you see now, if you charge, let's say your monthly charge is like 250k, 300k. If you have one client, you make this amount. Maybe next month you have three, four clients. Maybe the other month you have two clients. That's the thing about contemplation, by the way. Sometimes, yeah, it fluctuates. Yeah. So, even, so if you could sana, make sure you're saving. Because ha, please listen. A month will come. <laughs> Actually, not towards the end of the year is when... Um, there's a lot, lot of campaigns, campaigns. Yeah. so like you find from August, September, October, November, December, there are so many clients, so so many. Yeah. Then January, February, March, it's a bit like now light because like people are not really doing that. People are not spending a lot yeah. of money, so so brands are not spending that much on advertising. But then you get to April, you get to like now Easter, kids are on holiday, yeah. few what then now it starts picking up middle of the year, then end of the year again it's really good. Mm. So there's some months which are really great, there's some which are not as great, but mm. they are always really just fantastic it's six figure work is what i'm saying sometimes seven figure work yeah. okay i know there are some of those big folks you know as yet nina and that that who be i just she's good for her yeah. good for her because she's so young and she's like i find her so authentic and i feel like she's found something that she loves to yeah. do you know she's just there she's just dancing and she's just having fun and i'm like wow and people connect get to that. your bag baby exactly get your bag so that. yeah there's definitely money so, 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 social media it has money it has it has money babe. Yeah. so do you see it as um a long term thing like five ten years as mm. something that you may grow Amma, do you do you do you find that do you think it's a trend that it's a die out at some point. Definitely, it is growing for sure. Because if you look at more advanced markets like the UK, Europe, um, America, those it's literally a trillion dollar industry. Yeah. Here we are still building, we are still growing. Here we are still at the stage where you send a brand your your rate card and they're like, "Guy, quick a two picture," and they're charging that much, and I'm like. <laughs> Then we will you know, and it's a fraction of what I don't know someone in the states would charge. Yeah. In the states, by the way, someone who even has a hundred k followers, you're they making ch- bank. You are oh making bank. Here, it's not this. Even South Africa, by the way, is a very developed it it is, market. It is. Like, so I think definitely it's growing. I think more and more brands are having an appreciation for content creation. Mm-hmm. I think people are even the fact that we have people like Mo. <laughs> Who is more to like, the camera, more the camera, exactly. More and more people who are even investing in production mm. of content creation, even online. I think it's like it's definitely a growing market. Yeah. I feel like now would be the time for someone if you want to get into content creation to do it. Right, exactly. And you should never. I always get DMs from someone saying, "Oh, I really want to do this, but there are so many people." I'm like, do you think? Somebody who is want to start a bread company will be like, hey, kuna mkate mobs going market. You just start. But there's all those breads, but there's no, yours is not there. Yours is not there. Yours, you know, Thank there's you. no niche. There's no one who's going to come and create content the way niche creates. Like the way that's so guys. Exactly. That's the thing. Yeah. Even me, I'm always like, I feel like there are always younger and, and better content creators who come, but there's no one who will do it like you. There's yeah. no one who will do it like me. Me, I'm just, I, I'm just me and I'm it the just, way that I'm doing and no one can replicate that, no one can copy that, no matter how much they try. Yeah. So definitely, I think it's growing. I think there's so much more money still to be made. And I love the fact that more and more brands are having the appreciation of like, this actually works, you know? Mm-hmm. Even small businesses, by the way. Small businesses may jail for Instagram and yeah. I love it. I love it. And mm-hmm. doesn't it feel so good to be part of the story or the success story of small businesses? Oh my God, this feels amazing. And I personally just love the fact that Instagram has 
it's I feel like it's it's broadened up opportunities for people to make money. Mm-hmm. You know, it has, it's it like has. business. You don't need to know someone to make the money. You literally can just wake up and tomorrow open a page and you said you're selling these earrings. Yeah. And then that's it. We now give you a shout out to say, oh by the way, go to Mitch's earrings. He made yeah. Mitch's Mitch's earrings. Okay, so you've made a hundred k and just like that, you look at you, you are rolling in money. Mm-hmm. I feel like the access to opportunities is amazing. If someone would just grab that opportunity by the horns mm-hmm. and take advantage of it. I love that. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, you talked about rate card. How mm. do you come up with a rate card? And when you started out, when uh, uh, the first time, the very first time a brand reached out to you and told you, can you send us a rate card? Did you even have a rate card? Mm. Yeah, you have yeah. me, Oh, wow. Okay. I was the developed. Yeah, I was developed. Exactly. <laughs> because remember me, I was working in communications and marketing already. You So I was in agency. So we, ha- we had worked with influencers before. So I had already seen many people in rate cards card. and stuff. So you know, that's for my rate card. I was just like, okay, I went and looked at what are people charging, mm. how many followers do they have. I just sort of calculated mine. I like to make And then over time, you start seeing, like now you meet fellow content creators, like now you meet me mm. and you ask me, okay, you send me your rate card, you benchmark with me. I will send you someone. Talk to me. You see the number one? Talk to me. Exactly. <laughs> You ask other people, then now the more you keep benchmarking, or sometimes let's say you're on a campaign with someone, like now we get on a call for a brand, and then I see this, oh, this person is there, then I DM her, and I'm like, oh, how much are you charging this brand? So that even me, I can, and me, I'm never selfish, but they always want, I'm always like, I want us all to earn a lot. Don't you, I don't want to be the only one. But don't you feel like, especially with this um, uh, with this time, mm-hmm. not everybody is usually as open to, to share. And they're like, mm-hmm. I, I personally find that so weird. I'm like, you're not my competition, because if you charge, literally 10k and then yeah. they charge 100k you're bringing the whole industry down exactly. because then they'll be like no but see is charging 10k Ooh, this one is charging too much that's the thing you need to people need to realize that it's, it's only by all of us going up together that we can in one the industry you see yeah. so for me i love to help other content creators i love to like you know show them i'll be like when i had 10k followers i think i was charging i don't know 50k when i had you know 20,000 so much i was charging if i can remember but as much as possible we all we, we that's why i believe we need influencer association of kenya we do we, we do. all need to work together so it can be standardized so me at the beginning i mean i just used i just used sort of like a benchmark of like what other people are charging over time you start feeling you start kind of knowing like what value you're bringing to clients mm. because you see Sometimes you can even have a million followers, yeah. but only ten percent is buying. Yeah. And that other someone else will have a hundred k, but all of eighty yeah. percent of them are listening and they're actually buying. So depending on the value you're giving clients, you just start feeling, hey, this one I've undercharged them. This mm-hmm. one is maybe it's a bit too much. This one, and then you just keep adjusting. Media too. I like that because mm. I've, I've also found that in some campaigns, uh, <laughs> yeah, brands, mm. brands can charge um maybe they can tell you okay so we had a budget of xyz mm. and then another person they are paying them three times and that's you're like wow yes yes, oh, yes, yes. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah there's a certain brand you know, <laughs> 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 but, like, it's not but you see but uh, but me I never fault them because i'm always like also you as a person you have to you have to, you you have to, to negotiate, negotiate yeah power. you have to and you at some point you have to be willing to walk away from the table without that thing and i know that's hard yeah it's breathe, hard breathe baby girl breathe breathe yeah, but it's important. Yeah, you, you know, especially when you're starting out, you're always like, oh god, but at least I have a brand. But mm, do you really do want you really, to yeah. sell yourself literally a brand? Because brand will try to squeeze the fucking most, the most from you. Yeah. To, hey, they'll be like, we're paying you 20k, but you're giving us now 500 again, eh, and five posts, and gee, how many stories? You know, I can imagine there's a company which you told me that, and I was like, it's not it's not even that serious yeah it's exactly serious, you, you need to be able to just be like thank you so much for the offer unfortunately i'm not able to work with you at that rate but i will i look forward to working with you in the future you may have an email which is already drafted for just send i just said i tell my assistant <laughs> just send this email send the regret email send the regret because the reality i always tell them if you want someone who's going to work for that 10k there are so many good so yeah there are other people who will take it it's just not my rate because i know the value that i'm bringing yeah. and i'm not about to just be putting money in people's pockets and me how am i paying my kids fees as mm-hmm. i'm putting money in your pocket how I like that. Mm. Yeah. so i have two, two two last questions for you so the first one is um when, when a content creator is once or has gotten into that space and now you have the followers mm. sometimes the followers don't always translate into sales mm. so how do you make that transition of making your followers and when a brand is, uh, approaches you that oh we want you to sell these flowers for us mm. how do you translate your followers or make them sales does that make sense it's no no but the long and short of it is that you can't 
Well, yeah, I don't feel like it's something that you can actively do. It's either there or it's not. Okay. That's the reality. And it's like, like I met, like I said at the beginning of how you, you can't go out, you can't create content with the objective of getting brands. It's the same way you can't really create content with the objective of selling the thing. Like me, for me, for example, I will, I often, I tell, tell brands I'm not a saleswoman. I'm not a salesperson because you're looking for a salesperson. You can get someone who can go door to door and tell that thing. Yeah. All I can do is just describe what my experience with this particular thing is. Yeah. So me, if I've got it and I've experienced it, all I'll be like, oh, me, I really like this rose. Me, by the way, this rose is added really a lot of whatever to my to my house. And if you want to get also this rose, just go and click on this link. Yeah. But I'm not going to be like now. I'm like trying to really like sell to you because ideally. The vulnerability, the honesty, the authenticity, the, the integrity with which you create your content should create some level of trust between you and your followers. Mm. That level of trust is what allows them to be able to be like, whatever Mitch says I should get, ideally I feel like it's going to work. Yeah. You know, I know she's not telling me to just buy these eyelashes just because, you know, which means that now when you come, you're not going to be a saleswoman here. You all you do is tell people, oh, me, I've been using these eyelashes and they're really, really cute. Yeah. And, you know, if you want to get them, this is the link. If the product is good and if it's something that they want, they will automatically buy. Yeah. If it's something, it could be a good product, but people don't need lashes. Mm. That's why today you can post, let's say, cookies and you find a thousand people have bought. Then you post these roses and only two people buy. Yeah. It's not about that your followers are not whatever. Maybe they just don't want roses. They just don't want roses. There are so many factors. It even depends the time of the month. But they all these things. Content creation is a science. Yeah. It is a science. I'm always telling people, depending on what they're selling, if it's a kid's item, I'm always like, okay, let's do Wednesday. 12 p.m. If it's, I don't know, alcohol, we're going to put the post Friday, 6 p.m. because people are, are going home. If it's, I don't know, clothes, Saturday mornings, women are always shopping, so we put Saturday, like, you have to follow this a psychology to it. Oh, wow. So it's like a, a, a combination of so many different factors. Mm-hmm. But all I can say is that focus on your unpaid content or your unsponsored content. That content should be good enough to create that relationship between you and your audience such that when you do bring the sponsored content, they yeah. trust you enough to be like, this is a good plug. True. This is a plug that I know that I can trust because Mitch cares about us. Mm-hmm. Mitch loves us. You know, they say that the difference between influencers and celebrities is that for celebrities, just someone you follow. If Beyonce does not know who you are and that you exist, yeah, you are nobody. Mm-hmm. But me, I feel like when people follow me, they feel like, Johan is our friend. Yeah. And I am. You see, it's like, it's like I'm more accessible to them. It's like, I'm you, basically. But like, now you're just, you're seeing yourself through my eyes. So when I post something, you should feel like, oh, okay, it's good enough for Johan. I think I can also try it, you know? Yeah. But that will only happen if you're creating your own unsponsored content without, you know, with integrity and with, you know, authenticity and you're being true to yourself and your audience can feel that. Otherwise, you're always pretending, even though you come tell us about roses and just be like, I ain't buying no roses from you. And also another thing I think they may notice uh, with a lot of influencers mm. is sometimes, especially when you start getting those brand deals, ma- most of your content now just becomes brands, brands, brands. But yeah. you, there's something that uh, my brother-in-law um, taught me one time. He said, whatever people know you for, mm. make sure you don't lose that. Yes. So for example, if people know me for makeup, just because brands have started coming doesn't mm. now mean I stop giving you guys makeup exactly, content because yeah. that's what people know me for. Exactly. So that and what, what did you say? Unsponsored content. Yeah, the unsponsored content. Focus on that, and that's why I was saying, in fact, don't do it. Don't now just focus on the brand, brand, brand. Yeah. Because otherwise, what is keeping me here? No one wants True. to be watching. Oh, I may not want to be. Sales, 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 sales. Sales. They, no one wants that. They yeah. want you to be able to to be able to like feel like okay, I'm getting something. I'm mm. getting value. I'm feeling inspired, educated, engaged, encouraged whenever I come to your page. Not yeah. just being sold to. Uh, so Burugi, where do you see yourself in the content creation space in five, ten years from now? Well, um, will I even still be a content creator? Oh, please, years? you should. I don't know, what girl. Do you mean? I don't know. Anyway, I think I'm gonna transition out of it now to do it. <laughs> I think I'll always. It, to some extent, I feel like content creation, because it's something that comes so easily and so naturally to me, yeah. I feel like I will always be a, a communicator or a content creator or an influencer in one way or another. Yeah. But, you know, like we were saying earlier on, there's one thing about content creation and influencing is that platforms are always changing. True. Algorithms are changing. Things like things are always different. You might even find in five, ten years there's no Instagram. Yeah. You, even, you, you, you never know. So, I mean, as far as I'm able to control, I feel like it's something that I would want to do for a long time, but I... I'm focusing a lot of my energy on my podcast, TMI podcast. If you don't Guys, follow, follow, please do TMI podcast KE on Instagram, <laughs> okay, yes. and also on YouTube. You're going to flag yourself down. Thank you. Um, if you push it across the screen, you'll see it here yeah. across the screen. It's definitely TMI. TMI. <laughs> yeah, so we're focusing on that because we know that podcast is a growing platform and I feel like it's it's 
It's a platform that allows me to be myself in a way that my own platform doesn't allow me to be. Do you feel like you're not yourself on your platform? I feel like I am. am. No, I feel like I am. But like that one, I don't know. If you've listened to it, it's like you'll realize a lot of it is, it's a very... Please don't watch it with your children. Don't watch it with your kids. That's the, <laughs> that's the thing. My platform, because of maybe the brands yeah. that I work with, also having my kids, it's like there's some things that I won't say there. Sure. You know, it's like, yeah. not that I'm hiding or I'm being inauthentic, but there's some things that I'm, I don't feel... Like I can put up, I put a picture of Mutana when I'm talking about anal sex. It doesn't seem right. Oh wow, you went like it you doesn't say right. it. <laughs> like, that's so you can see the juxtaposition. It's like you know you just can't. Yeah. But on TMI, I feel like it's a very raw version of me, like a very very raw version of me. So it's something that I, I'm working on growing. I'm also hoping to like start my own brand. You know, so look out for that this year. Actually, this year. Yeah, by then I'll be a millionaire, maze, you know, I'll have like maybe three business. If you follow Milali, Mihlali, Milali, Milali, yeah, oh girl, she's she's like one, she's someone I look up to. And she's, she's like 24. Yeah, and she's just like an influencer, content creator, and she used that influence that she had to build her empire, you yeah. know, and I feel like if, if you are given um, influence, mm. use it to build your own thing, so that sure. your, 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 um, influence is not based on the platform, it is mm. based on you as a person, which is what I was telling you. Is like so, you my now, Instagram, now you, when are you bringing us Mitch wigs and when you're giving us Mitch gloss, you yeah. know, and Mitch makeup, yeah. and you know, whatever it is, something that is just uniquely you and it's for you. Because ideally, influ- influencing is like you are really putting money in people's pockets. 100%. And when will you start putting money in your own pocket? Yeah. Someone said that to me, and I was like, Kai. By the way, Nathania, I want to cast me. Mm. Let's start working for myself. It's true. Yeah, so that's something that I want to work on. But who knows? First, I just want to be alive in five to ten years. That would be great. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. This was amazing. Okay, gosh. I feel like we could talk on and on and on yeah. and on and on. And on. But Ruby yeah. told me she has a digital, have a digital meeting. meeting at four p.m. That's how you know she's a serious <laughs> influencer. She has digital meeting. Where are we meeting? I mean, me, this is my, my oh, last this is your meeting. meeting. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I mean, a small meeting. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for coming. Um, and for all the gems, you know, um, I was really, I, I don't know if you didn't know this, but I was really nervous even to reach out to you. I was like, will she respond? Yes, will she yes. not? Yeah, I think it's like imposter syndrome. Yeah. But also, to be material ladies, just try. The yeah. what, what's the worst that can happen? And you know, you know, we are all the same. Like I know sometimes people will see someone else online and be like, Oh my god, Hash is over there and me are over here. Yeah. But we are all in the same household, by the yeah. way. We yeah. are all in the same household. Maybe someone is like further along than you, mm. but I am also just growing. I'm also just still trying to find my footing. I'm also you, you know working. You're still trying yeah. to find still trying to find your footing. Imagine, yeah. please. You know, you're gonna yeah. subscribe as a million <laughs> Can you guys imagine Ruki did you have a YouTube channel? Like, like, what's your YouTube? I'm yeah. like, oh, I only knew oh, your TikTok and your Instagram. Imagine. But then you, knew, you, you knew me from TikTok. TikTok was the first place I knew. Then I had to come and find you here mm. on Instagram. And I'm like, wow. Oh, check it in. Check it in. Check the bio. Check it in. Thank you yeah. so much for coming. I really, really appreciate. And also the fact that you're so open and you're willing to share and to, edu- and to educate people and yeah. just... Ah, we appreciate it. Thank that's, you so much. Amazing. And keep creating that content we love so much mm. and being authentic to you. Asante. Asante. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you left here with one two or twenty gems because hey murugi she is a powerhouse and i can't i'm so excited to see what it is gonna be murugi murugi the the empire thank in a few you. years to come so all the best in everything and so thank you so much for thank coming you. um guys if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you also subscribe to tmi podcast Murugi Muni, come plug yourself. Muni everything, Instagram Muni everywhere. everywhere. Say my podcast KE everywhere. And don't watch YouTube children. Do not. <laughs> if you love them, don't do it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, bye guys.